Okay, so today we're going to be starting with your gum infection therapy. As we discussed at your last appointment, uh, you do have some form of gum disease. So the gum infection therapy is the first way we're going to try to fight that. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're getting you numb. You probably already have some numbing gel starting to numb your gums there. Uh, most likely I'm going to come in in a little bit and I'm going to give you some injections to numb it even more. This, tra this treatment should be very, have very little pain. Okay, when we do fillings and crowns and all types of veneers and things, there should be no pain at all. With gum treatment, there is a tiny bit but it shouldn't be bad at all a little pinch here or there is uh, all that should be expected if you're feeling more than that you have to speak up raise your hand let the hygienist or her assistant know uh, and then we'll stop and numb you some more but I'm gonna get you really numb that you should be really comfortable with today okay so what are we doing so we're gonna be numbing half your mouth usually top and bottom on one side most commonly uh, the hygienist can spend a lot of time cleaning all the tartar above your gums out but also underneath your gums so gum disease is caused by plaque bacteria building up first on top of your gums and then starting to work its way down in between the tooth and the gum as it gets deeper there and it gets more inflamed the gums start to separate from the teeth the plaque and the tartar and the bacteria moves deeper and starts to destroy the bone the very bone that's holding your teeth in so gum disease is tricky for a few things gum disease is something that will Will eventually make you lose all your teeth okay when you see someone who's older who's dentures who's lost all of their teeth it's almost always from gum disease okay it's not because they got a cavity or a crack or a piece broken tooth on every single tooth in their mouth that we couldn't fix it it's because they lost the foundation okay the bone that holds your teeth in um, now to get to that place where you're losing all teeth takes years and decades for most people but we want to stop it the sooner we stop it the earlier we stop it the easier it is to stop it um, and the better we're all going to be and the healthier we're going to be in addition to causing loss of tooth or loss of teeth uh, the gum disease it also is not good for your overall health it's related to diabetes and heart disease cognitive dysfunction as we get older all type of overall health things because it's a low-grade infection that we have in our body for years at a time um, so it's not good for that either um, so the goal of this treatment is for us to get it really clean and then for you to keep it clean okay if we do our part here and you don't do your part at home this is not going to work okay in just a minute i'm going to go into a great detail about what you have to do at home this is one of our pet peeves here at this office is we get a lot of people come in from other offices who have had a deep cleaning or gum infection therapy or scaling and replaying those are all same different names for the same thing um, at a different office uh, but they didn't change any of their habits they weren't told that they had even had gum disease they weren't told that they had bone loss they weren't told what they need to do at home to change it all they might have been told was uh, floss more um, and usually a person doesn't do it and then the gum disease just comes back and it continues on uh, unfortunately with any treatment even though one properly with gum infection therapy you cannot eradicate the disease it's not something we can get rid of it's more like hypertension or diabetes where we can control it we can stabilize it the goal is to get the plaque and bacteria to a level where your body just fights it off it's still there because we can never get rid of all the plaque and tartar but to keep it a level where your body can uh, keep it at a bay then the gums will heal and the gums will ideally shrink up around the tooth so we're taking those measurements around the tooth those numbers two three four the deeper they are five six seven that's where we're losing bone so if we can get the gums to heal and seal up around the teeth so that when we're checking it it's only going one two three that's good that means the plaque can't get deep underneath your gum that's the goal to get it there and to stabilize it um, so that those pockets don't open up and get get the plaque and bacteria can't get down to those bones and cause more destruction there so what do we do okay we're gonna be cleaning the treatment today then it comes up to you tonight okay when you go home first of all don't chew or drink uh, excuse me don't chew on either side of your mouth till numbness wears off you're looking at about two to three hours on average some people are more some people less just touch your face when you can feel it normal again now you're good to chew again you might have a little pain afterwards a little soreness is normal for a couple days but it shouldn't be really more than that um, if you're feeling more soreness than that you can take some Tylenol or Advil some people need it some people don't but I don't expect a lot of pain when you go home tonight you're gonna start using all these items that I'm about to show you that we're giving you uh, in the past, uh, we used to just recommend items. We say, go buy election toothbrush, go buy this, go online and get this. And half the time, no one bought anything. So they come back later for their maintenance cleanings. Uh, 
and there wouldn't be as much improvement as we wanted because they didn't change any of their habits and they didn't follow the instructions. So we wanna make it as easy for you as possible. So we're giving you all the tools you need. We also make sure um, that, you know, the point of these is not to make the pennies we make on selling these things. The point is to where we make it is for you to be successful with this treatment. If we do this treatment, it doesn't work for you, doesn't work for us, no one's happy, okay? These, these items, we make sure they're sold cheaper than you can even find on Amazon or online, all right? So the first one is electric toothbrush. Okay, this is a Sonic Care toothbrush. It's our favorite toothbrush. It vibrates very quickly, thousands and thousands of times per minute. Okay, way faster than you can brush. It's a very soft brush. Okay, we don't want ever want to use a medium or a hard brush. Some people use them because they feel like they're really getting in there, but you will damage your gums and teeth that way. So you want a soft brush like the Sonic Care has. So the brush is going to be doing most of the work for you. Okay, so this Sonic Care also has a timer on it. All Sonic Cares do. It's not a timer. There's no countdown that you can see on it it will turn itself off after two minutes, okay? This is really important because most people, even if they think they're doing a good job brushing, brush for about 20 to 30 seconds. So we don't even want you to brush just for two minutes. We're trying to do everything we can here to fight this gum disease. We want you to do it for four minutes. So you're gonna be doing this until it stops, and then you're gonna push the button again, and then it will go another two minutes, okay? You'll also feel a little vibration when about every 30 seconds, it'll be going, and go, eh, eh. That's just telling you that 30 seconds is up. You can use that as a guide so that you do 30 seconds in a quarter of your mouth, 30 seconds another quarter, 30 seconds another quarter, 30 seconds another quarter, and then do it again for the second two minutes, all right? So most people, when they brush, they kind of just do a random path. They're not really thinking about it. And what happens is that you miss the same spots over and over again. Very common is the bottom inside uh, bottom teeth, also on the back teeth on the bottom towards the uh, but the tongue over there is very common. If you're left-handed like I am, a lot of times the left side gets missed. If you're right-handed, a lot of times the left side gets missed. So you want to you want to think about it just a little bit. This is not rocket science, but you do want to think about it a little bit. So you start in one area, you're brushing there on the outside, brushing the, the chewing surface of the tooth, you're brushing there. And remember, it's spending 30 seconds there. You're angling it towards, the, when you're on the outside or on the inside, you're angling it towards the gum. You want to brush kind of the whole tooth, obviously, but right where the gum and the tooth meet, it's very important. So you're spending there 30 seconds, then you're moving around once it beeps to the next thing and you move around. So you don't have to think about it a lot. Once you get good at it, you can go, you know, look at your phone, watch TV, but you gotta think about it just a little so you don't miss those spots. So four minutes, okay? If you've been brushing, you know, average person 30 seconds, now we're brushing eight times as long. So it's really important that the uh, toothbrush uh, helps you with that because it's difficult to remember to do it that long. It seems like it's forever. I've been using a sonic care for 20 years. It still feels like it's forever, even if I'm only doing two minutes. Okay, the next thing, dental tape, okay? This is dental floss. They call it dental tape, it's thicker, okay? Most people don't floss. It's one of the big reasons that most people have gum disease, okay? Uh, and also cavities in between their teeth, super common. People don't like the floss. I don't know why, okay? It's a thing. When you get good at it, it takes one minute. Um, but most people never do it enough to get good at it, so it's hard to do. People always who don't floss always tell me the same thing. They tell me their hands are too big for their mouth, their mouth is too small, and their teeth are too tight, or they shred the floss. These are things everyone says, it's not, and it's not true, okay? Okay? Everyone has an average size mouth, bigger, it doesn't matter how big or small your hands are, you can get your hand and do this. Okay, but it takes practice. Okay, there's no secret I can give you about this is this tooth, you put it here, what, this is what you do. This is what I can teach you. You take out a piece about 18 inches long, okay? You're gonna wrap it around your middle finger on one side, see that? Middle finger on the other side. Now it's locked in. Now you can use these guys to grab them and move them in the different patterns, okay? Okay, so it's not hard, but when you go to each area, you do have to move your hand in different ways. And you have to figure that out. When you first start doing it, it might take you five minutes in front of a mirror to do this properly. But after you get good at it, which you're going to, because you're gonna be doing this twice a day, every day, um, you can do your whole mouth one minute. You don't even think about it, it's so easy. Now there is a one little trick you have to know here. Okay, let me see if I can show you this on the camera here. So once you wrap it around, okay, you wanna do it in a C shape. Okay, so let's get this model up here. It's gonna be a little hard to show you. But when you go in between here, okay, can you see that right there? You're getting down there and you're wrapping it like a C. See that, around the tooth. You move up and down, and then you same side on the other side, up and down and out. Okay, so what does that mean? 
it means that you're getting all the way down to the gum as far as you can. If it hurts a little, it's normal because your gums aren't healthy. You are not sawing back and forth like this like they do on TV. You are not going da, 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 da. You have to, okay? So you're not going in and out, in and out. You're going in, up and down, pull over to the other tooth on the other side, same hole, up and down in a C shape, C shape, C shape, up and down, out. That's it. Each spot just takes a second. One, hello, three, and so on, okay? So again, it will be normal at first for it to feel like it's too tight, especially this floss, because it is thicker than most normal flosses, okay? You can't find this in the store very well. You can get it on Amazon if you need to, or you can get it from us. It's not expensive. This little one will last you many, many months. Um, but when you first start using a thicker one, even if you are used to flossing, it will feel too tight and too thick. That is okay. Everyone feels that at first. I thought this at first when I first started using it. Um, but the reason it's thicker is it grabs more plaque and bacteria, it exercises and stimulates the gums more, and it works better. If you see bleeding in your gums or it hurts in your gums, that means your gums are not healthy. It does not mean the floss is causing the bleeding. The plaque and the bacteria is causing bleeding. Now it's a little counterintuitive. I get people all the time and say, I don't floss because it causes my gums to bleed. It's not correct. If you have a scratch or an infection on your leg, and you, even if you cleaned it lightly, it's still gonna bleed and hurt, okay? But on your leg, if you have a scratch, you leave it alone and it heals. Gums are not like that. For gums to heal, you have to clean them and exercise them with a toothbrush and floss. Then the pain, then the bleeding will stop, okay? So keep at it, okay? A lot of people will try to buy the ones with the handles on them, the little U-shape with the floss in between there. We, they're okay, but they're not this floss, okay? We, you can't just use that for fight gum disease. You can't get the U-shape as well as with that. You can't get it deep enough there, um, and it just doesn't work as well, okay? But if you want to use them in addition to, if you want to use them after lunch, keep them in your car, keep them at work, and then use this as your main flossing, uh, use this as your main flossing twice a day, that's fine, okay? It's okay. We don't, they're not bad. They're just not good enough. Next thing you do after you brush and you floss is you're going to use your hydro flosser. Okay, your hydro flosser is like a water pick. Sometimes these are advertised as water flossers and they say they replace flossing. They do not replace regular floss. They're, they're good and that's why we're giving it to you, but it doesn't get down into the gums like we need it to. So you have this tank here. You're going to fill it up with kind of lukewarm water for most people. Then you're going to use this is under the gum irrigant, okay? It's like a very thick mouthwash. You're gonna take just a capful, so a very little amount, and you're gonna pour it into this tank of water. You can then use the cap or your finger and mix it around so it kind of mixes a little better. Attached to that tank of water here, it's gonna be this handle, okay? There's an on and off button here. There's also a power button. You can, it's a power buttons one to nine. You can start low, like one, two, or three, but as you get your gums more comfortable, you can jack it all the way up to nine, okay? But just if it hurts and starts slow, then as you get better at it, you can make it more powerful. As soon as you turn this on, if you are not holding down this button right here, water is gonna start shooting out this, and you're gonna shoot yourself in the face, you're gonna shoot all over the mirror that you're working at, you're gonna get it up your nose, everyone does this at first, it's normal, don't worry about it. To prevent that though, you, you, before you turn it on, you're gonna hold that button down, it's gonna stop the water from coming out. Then when you're ready to go, okay, you're gonna lean over the sink and you're gonna open your mouth. You are not gonna do this standing up. You're not gonna put your lips around this. You try to swallow this water, put it around, it's just gonna, it's too much. It's gonna fill your mouth up. So as you're doing it, your mouth open, leaning over the sink, it's just gonna fall into the sink. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna let go of the button and you're gonna put it back, put it back to in between teeth and go, ah, 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 it's gonna make a noise, like da, 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 da. It's gonna be shooting water out. You put it between the teeth Aiming kind of between teeth, a few seconds, the next spot, a few seconds, da, 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 da. next spot, da, 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 da. and you work your way around the mouth. Then you go onto the inside, same spots, but from the other side. You go da 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 da, da 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 da, and you work, keep doing your whole mouth until one tank is full, is gone. Okay, so. That is the plan for what you're gonna do. We're gonna be doing the Sonicare, we're gonna be using the floss, we're gonna be uh, using the Hydro Flosser with the under the gum irrigant in it. We're also gonna be giving you a special toothpaste called Carry Free, just use that on the, uh, it helps prevent sensitivity, it helps prevent cavities. We use it recommended for anyone who has um, sensitivity or has just a history of cavities or fillings. It's the best stuff on the market right now, it's what I use, I use it on my kids. Uh, only difference you may notice with it, it doesn't foam up as much as regular toothpaste, but it's still minty, it tastes good, my kids like it even.
Okay, so that's what we're doing. If you want to even throw one more thing against this gum disease, you can ask us for a prescription to Periostat. Periostat is a low-dose doxycycline, and what it does is it kills the bacteria that destroy, excuse me, and the cells that destroy the bone and the supporting tissue in your mouth there. It's been used by periodontists, gum specialists, and dentists for decades. Um, so if you want to do that, um, let us know and call, we'll get your pharmacy number and we'll call that in for you. You take one pill a day, just like a vitamin, it's a small little dose, and for three months until we see you back. Um, you don't have to do it. Some people don't like taking uh, medication every day like that. Um, but if you want everything you can, it works. And especially if we told you you had a really severe gum disease or moderate to severe, um, it would be a good idea. So you just let us know if that's something you want as well. So that's what you're going to be doing. Then we're going to see you in three months. Okay, it's very important you do your follow-ups. So we're going to do what's called a perio maintenance cleaning at that time. Uh, with the perio maintenance cleaning, it's going to be not as intense as what you're having done today. You're going to not need shots or numbing, but we're going to remeasure your gums. We're definitely going to see improvement. If you are doing what we teach you, we're going to see a really good improvement. Um, and we're going to tell you, all right, great job. Um, we're still going to see you in three months, and we're going to check clean your, gun, clean your teeth and check again. If you're still looking good, we're going to see you in four months. If you're looking great, we're going to get you back to six months. And that's the goal, to get you back to normal every six months. Now, some people's gum disease is so bad that it won't heal as much as we want. Some people won't do all the things I just recommended, um, so we won't heal as much as we want. Um, and everyone's different. So we're just going to see what works for you and how you're doing. So we're just going to throw the kitchen sink out, do all this, and um, you're going to get some good results and hopefully keep your teeth smiling and chewing for the rest of your life. So that's our goal. Um, sit back, okay, P you know, pick something on Netflix, um, pick something to listen to, and my hygienist and her, his, her assistant are going to take care of you. And uh, thanks for coming in and hope you learned a lot there. Oh, one more thing. There's a packet I gave you. There's going to be a packet in the kit with all this stuff that I wrote. It talks about gum disease. It repeats a lot of what I just told you. But if you forgot something or you want to read more about it, definitely read that packet. It takes about five minutes. Keep it with you. Don't throw it away. Um, it'll be a good reminder to you of all the things you need to do as well. All right. Take care.